but doing what you want to do. But he still loves us anyway. But we got a problem when we don't, he don't pay our bill. You ain't hear my body here. You let my car get taken. Come on. You got me walking around with all this pain. I've been praying for this thing that I want God to do for 10 years and I ain't seen nothing. And I'm mad about it. You took my loved one. You know they love me. But you took them away from me. But you fail to realize since he took that person from you, why is it causing you to pray more? Is it that he took that person just to get you saved? But we'll say, but I love God. But in one mouth, we'll sit up there and do all this mumbling and complaining. But what did he do when the church got ready to crucify him? One minute, Hosanna, Hosanna. <laughs> King of kings, the Lord of lords. Them same people crucifying. He ain't my king. Crucifying. And he said, Father, forgive them. For they know not what they do. He said, but I love you in your mess. He said, and you just not getting saved. You 40 years old and you just not getting saved four years ago. What about them other 30 some years you were walking around here and, and I ain't struck you dead? We forget about that part. That's love. But you think just because you're going through a situation with somebody and you want to quit and you want to mama and complain and he say all I'm asking you to do is just to love me back I gave it to you first now you give yourself if I waited on you I heard a pastor tell another pastor I told a lady the lady said and we know we saved and we'll go out there and marry somebody who not saved all right. because see we want the sex but you realize the sex is just over with 15 20 minutes and it's over with but then you realize then the next thing you know, stuff going on in the household that you don't like. Mm. I'm tired of dealing with this mess. But see, when he told you to wait, mm. all right. on there you just I just want to get in the drawers and I don't want to be sitting no more. All Let's right. be real. All right. So then now when you feeling some kind of way in this marriage and you saying, God, I'm praying, I don't got myself together. This man getting on my nerve, he's stopping me from going to church. How long I got to wait? He said, and how long I waited on you? How long? See, that right, that'll make you wait on God. Because see, we'll sit up there and have them couple minutes of pleasure. You've been on forgot about that once you're going through all this arguing and fighting and all this other stuff. You forget about all that. See, then you got to wait till God deal with that person. Mm -hmm. Because he waited on you. How many times people tried to get you saved and you didn't get saved right then and there? Mm -hmm. I know plenty of people came to me and I'm going to hit it right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you think because you say your spouse supposed to automatically get saved. Mm -hmm. Then God said, wait a minute. Now you say for better for worse. Yes. This is your worst. So now you got to wait on Wait till the Lord bring him in. Because the Bible said that same spouse will draw in that other spouse. Mm -hmm. So that means you sure must got to do some dying. Mm. Come on. When they want to walk in first, hallelujah. <laughs> Keep me Jesus. Because <laughs> see, when you go to cussing and all of that, he ain't finna go to church. He said, I see you go two or three days a week. You still doing the same thing. What I need to go for? I don't see no different than you. Amen. See, that's what prayer is for. Prayer is where if you say, God, I'm looking for how we're going my spouse and now. I'm looking for a spouse. I'm looking for him to come and find me. I want somebody to love me like Christ loved the church. You wanna know why you want him to be the one? Because you want when you ask him a fool, he's gonna draw you back to the Lord. <laughs> Come on here. When you up here hollering and all that stuff, he in the kitchen. Lord, help her. <laughs> she needs some deliverance. Touch the Lord Jesus.